Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use three free programs to make visually accurate cosplay suits or armor that actually fits well. These programs are Make Human, Blender, and Pepicura. So there's plenty of extra tips online for each of these if you'd like to delve deeper into them, but like all my videos, I'm going to try to keep this concise and just go over the process at a high level to give you guys the gist of what I use. The first app we're going to use is Make Human, and this is where we're going to actually make a 3D model of ourselves, and it should be dimensionally accurate. Now you can use the sliders to heuristically make these uh, people to look like however you want for video games, but we're actually making this to a cosplay suit So we're gonna use the measurement uh, tab here Basically, you're gonna go through each part of the body and you're gonna measure where it says to measure with the white line So you're gonna want to use uh, a measurement tape one of the soft ones that you use for clothing I'm just gonna save that model off. Obviously, I don't look like this guy that was just built Quickly, so I'm gonna load the actual model that I have of myself into blender here. It's an OBJ file That's what make human saves by default Okay, so once we have the body in, we know what size to make our parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and load a reference image and I'm gonna scale it up until it matches the mesh that I have for my 3D model of myself. And I'm using the Arkham Knight villain because he looks hella cool. So we're actually gonna be building on top of the reference image just on the X and Z plane. I'm just extruding the points and drawing along the image to get it to look exactly like the image just in this one plane. And then once I take the image, I'm gonna actually, actually I'm tired of looking at this guy's ass and his head, so I'm cutting that off right now, one second. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and move these points in the Y direction until it curves around the 3D model that we got from Make Human. This way it'll actually fit on whoever we're fitting for the cosplay suit or armor that we're gonna be making. Um, so this particular suit's gonna be actually made out of foam, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use Pepicura later in the video. But right now I just filled in all the vertices to make the individual faces so that it's solid. And again, I'm doing some more fitting just in the Y direction, because if you change it in the X and Z direction, you're actually gonna be changing what it looks like on the actual character, so that would be going off the reference that we made. And you always wanna use orthographic view so that the perspective isn't actually skewing your uh, model, or the way you perceive your model. So I'm going to do this for the next two parts. There's basically three parts of this back plate that I'm trying to model here. There's the base, this middle piece here, and then the top upper part. And each one is using the mirror operator where I basically build the left side of the plate and the right side is mirrored, so it's an exact copy of that. Okay, and I'm just doing some very final tweaks to get it to match just right. The, the reference image, he's hunched a little bit, so that made it a, a slightly more difficult to get the actual dimensions quite right. So I went ahead and did some more tweaking to get it to look to get it to fit really well and still look like the image. So now we're just gonna export these as STL models um, from Blender into Pepicura. Now, I don't know why it is, but you're gonna have to adjust the scale to be 10 times to make sure that it's accurate on the physical printouts. And you're gonna wanna make sure it's selection only for each part of the plate. So I'm gonna do that for all three pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the STLs into Pepicura. We're gonna do the main back piece first. You're gonna have a hard time with Pepicura if you have high poly parts, but this is a great model because it's fairly low poly, so you can split it into decently large shapes. So there's the model. In the left pane, you can see it set out. And now I'm gonna go ahead and unfold it, and you can actually see how it's gonna be printed out. And when you select the pieces on the unfolded section, it highlights it in the 3D model so you can see what you're working with. I'm gonna go ahead and split these sections so that I can fit it on less paper and then you just export it as a PDF. Good enough. Anyways, I'm gonna go to my desktop here where I saved the PDF in Pepicura, and that's the PDF that you're actually going to print out on the paper. And you just put this on top of your foam, cut it out, and then you can actually fold it. So I'll do a video later on about actually making these models out of the foam when I do build this, this actual Batman suit that I'm working on. So hopefully you guys like this method. If not, I hope it was able to give you some ideas on different ways that you can build accurate and well-fitting cosplay parts. So thanks for watching.